I've been Muslim about, I think, nine years now, or eight, eight years. Oh, you want to say recording? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Relax, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Knight needs to come back to record. He's on the phone. All right, all right. Just uh, give me the word when, when he's ready. All right. So um, I was uh, really young, and I was living in uh, I was living in a place called Everett here in Washington in America, and uh, I was actually um, totally oblivious to Islam itself. I had been raised Catholic, and uh, I went to church every Sunday. I went with my grandma all the time to like church uh, activities and church functions uh, I used to go and like feed people feed the homeless and stuff with, with my church um, but what happened was uh, one day when I was really young I ran out of my house and I was playing outside and everything and uh, I went into our downstairs neighbor's house and uh, she happened to be Muslim but I had gone into her house and she was praying and didn't stop praying just because I was there, you know. So uh, I'm trying to talk to her and stuff, and this lady's just sitting there staring at the ground, and I'm kind of getting freaked out. And then my mom comes in and uh, sees me in there and starts trying to ask the lady, you know, what's, like, say, like basically say sorry that my son's in your house and everything, and he's young, he just ran outside. But uh, the lady didn't respond to her, and... My mom was just like kind of confused for a while, but as soon as the woman finished praying, she explained to my mom basically what she was doing and, and why she was doing that. And uh, my mom got interested, you know, and, and went with that woman to the masjid, the mosque. And uh, I started like learning from her, you know, like when I would go there, I would meet the the children and meet the, meet the Muslims and everything. And I had really no... Uh, outside influences, you know, like of Islam, except for the masjid, but uh, I found out at one point in time that they, there were different sects of Islam, and I had been uh, learning from Shia Muslims, and later on I had, I decided to become Sunni, but I'll wait to explain that, but um, basically, like, I was asking questions, you know, like, I would ask questions to my my. Uh, pastor, you know, like my my the father at the church, and you know he would always say things like like get back to me or like you know he wouldn't have the answer right off right off hand. And uh, when I went to the mosque, I could ask them basically anything, and they would tell me why and what they were doing and what I was supposed to do, and you know they always had an answer. And uh, my mom was Muslim before I was. I I still went to church after my mom became Muslim. She uh she would be Muslim and teach me about Islam and uh, <laughs> my grandmother and my the rest of my family would teach me about Christianity and Catholicism and uh, I was learning about both of those religions and then I realized you know and then I realized that uh there were other religions, you know, so I start, I studied uh, Buddhism and Judaism, and uh, I studied Greek mythology and Norse mythology, and I studied some uh, Hindu stuff, um, and uh, I mean, like, I just, I just immersed myself in different religions, you know, and Rainfinder keeps sending me messages so I hope someone got rid of him. But uh, basically, uh, after I had studied different religions and I had learned what I could about other religions, I picked the one which made the most sense to me, you know, as far as scientifically accurate and 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 also uh, there were no contradictions, you know, which, which there were a lot of contradictions in, in Christianity. And also, I honestly did not have a... a you know, very good feeling about worshiping a human being. That was a, that was a 
problem with uh, with a lot of the religions that I I studied, you know, is that they have they don't focus on God, you know, they don't focus on a higher power. They focus on other things, you know, like Buddhism focuses more on on you know basically doing doing good because next time when you come back, you know, you're not going to be something good, you know, you're going you're going to you're going to be something like like a, a cockroach or something, you know, and that that's not that's not really where I wanted to go. I didn't want to I didn't want to go with something where I was going to turn into an animal. I mean, I'm already at the top of the food chain, you know. Why would I Why would I drop myself down a few levels to something that gets hunted? But uh, that like basically when I started learn like really studying Islam and learning whatever I could, I was about uh, probably 13, and I was spending like m months in the masjid. You know, I would sleep in the masjid, I would eat in the masjid, I would wake up and pray fajr in the masjid, and then stay awake until everyone else went to sleep. You know, and I like when once I like immersed myself in in Islam. It was like something something had been removed from my eyes, you know. Like like it was like I had uncovered a truth, you know, like like almost a secret. And like the more I learned, the more it made sense to me, and the more I could say this is this is the truth, you know. This is this is uh this is where I need to be at, you know. And and the biggest thing I have to say that affected me was. The way the Muslims treated me, even though you know I wasn't, I wasn't uh, like you know I didn't look like them. I didn't look like everyone. I was one, one of very few. I don't even know if there was another white kid in the masjid, but um, I was, I was just a little white kid, you know, there learning about Islam, and they, they taught me everything, you know, they taught me uh, surahs, they taught me about the Quran, they taught me the stories of the prophets, like the legitimate stories of the prophets, you know. Not uh, like the ones from the Bible that talk about apparently a lot of incest and things like that. You know that I don't think God would very much approve of uh, in His prophets. But um, at, you know, like a after after a certain point in time, it, there was just no way I could deny it, and and that's the point I'm at right now. Is basically um, if you know. Any any circumstances under which I can tell someone about Islam or my beliefs, I, I do. Like if someone asks me a question about what what my uh, my feelings are, I tell them Islam's feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like um, I tell them Islamically what I what I should do. I don't tell them you know like because sometimes you know we don't <laughs> do what we're supposed to. So like I'll just tell them what he should do. You know what what would be the best option as far as with God, you know, what would make him best off with God. I'm 18. I'm 18 right now. I just turned 18 August 11th. And, uh, what about, oh yeah, and, uh, I, I well, I, I, if you want to ask me, I reverted probably when I was about 18, but my mom reverted to Islam when I was like 9. So I had I had Islamic influence in my life, but I just wasn't like set in a religion, you know. But now, if anyone asks me, I tell them, yeah, I'm Muslim, you know, and my name is Imad, even though I'm born uh, Cody. My name is Cody, and my friends call me Cody, my teachers call me Cody, but when I'm with Muslims, they call me Imad. And any anyone who knows my name is Imad, that's my name. And uh, thank you. But um, I I actually picked the name Imad because uh, my mom uh raised me by herself, and I w because my dad left when I was very young, and uh, basically the like like the word that I heard was the translation of Imad was like a pillar, a pi like a pillar of strength, you know, like 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 uh, something that holds up those around him, you know, like I'm, like I considered myself a pillar in my, in my house, because I was the man of the house, you know, even though I was like nine or ten, you know, when I was given that name, and, uh, my sister's name was, uh, Asiya, yeah, inshallah, I was actually thinking about going to, uh, uh, Yemen to study Islam, but I, I've been to, uh, yes, Asiya, um, but, 
I I went to India and I stayed over there with Muslims over there and I I found out like you know about uh something that I thought was kind of strange about how their Arabic when they when they speak Arabic in India it's a lot different from uh the Arabic that Arabs speak you know like from Yemen or from like like uh, Kuwait or something you know they like they have lots of different accents for Arabic but um <laughs> basically uh ever since I was about 13 you know I, I, I studied Islam and I learned I learned all I could but uh, <laughs> I think I'm about done because you know that that's basically what I'm doing all I can do is learn and keep learning what I can about uh, what that looks really good I will see that inshallah but um That would be nice. That would be very nice. But um, like I was saying, you know, I think I think that uh, for the rest of my life I'll still be learning about Islam and 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 still studying it because I I know that there's a lot that I have that I do not know, and I and I still you know inshallah uh, I'll, I'll uh, memorize the Quran. I, that's something that I that I that I hope to do is memorize the Quran. Because I I understand the importance of it, but um I'm actually gonna save this this website right here, and uh and oh my friends K, like uh it, it's it's weird because like I have masjid friends and then I I have like my non-Muslim friends you know because there's not a lot of Muslims here, so like. I will uh I'll I'll spend time in the masjid, you know, and, and see all my brothers and then like we'll go and play basketball or we'll go and play football or we'll go and play soccer, you know, something like that and I spend a lot of time with them but then at the same time when I'm not with them, you know, I have friends like from when I was young, from when I was still from before I really learned a lot about Islam, you know. And I have, but uh one of my friends, inshallah, is uh close to converting to Islam. He's been my friend since fifth grade. And uh, I, uh, he can uh, tell me hadith. He can he can re repeat hadith back to me, and and uh, tell me you know like stories of the prophets. And he'll tell me like if I start telling him a story or something, he'll re he'll tell me how it ends, or he'll tell me you know what it's about and stuff. And so I I feel like I did something good there. But um basically I'm I'm trying to teach teach. What what about my my friends before? Oh, um, being a Muslim, like, of course, around 2001, it was it was difficult, you know. And a after that, for a while, it was difficult. But now, people are getting a lot better about you know Muslims because they realize that we're not like terrorists and like uh, you know we don't hate Christians and want to kill everyone and do all this angry stuff, you know. That that's just frankly a bunch of crap, you know. <laughs> better term but uh like like people are what do I love the most about Islam I I have to say the thing I love the most about Islam is is the brotherhood you know like like not not you know to exclude the sisters of course but I mean like uh the the fact that no matter who you are no matter where you're from, no matter what your nationality or your origin is, or what you, you know, what what you look like, or you could be all burned up, you can you can have cancer, you can have AIDS or whatever, you know, a Muslim will still treat you like their brother, you know, that you're still you're still family, you know, and that that's something that I I feel was was something one of the strongest influences for me personally in Islam. I mean, after mono the monotheistic, you know, part because that. Islam to me is one of the the probably the only true monotheistic religion that that has nothing else associated with God, you know? Cuz a lot of religions have maybe it's not a very blatant, you know, uh like associate of God, but sometimes it'll it'll be there hidden, you know, like a hidden associate of God. And you and you won't even tell someone explains to you that the Trinity is actually uh, three separate gods in one, and they form together to form the the Megazord God, you know. And uh, you know, like like that that one uh, one of the biggest problems I had with Christianity was because uh, like they they explained 
the the Holy Trinity, right? And I and I thought that that seemed very similar to Power Rangers and uh, how how the different all the little robots formed together and made a giant robot that was better than the rest of them, you know. And and like I was like I was like yeah, you know that that really makes sense. That's that's something I want to base my life around. Power Rangers, awesome, yeah. But um. Oh yeah, yeah. Islam definitely made uh, my relationship with me and my mom better. You know, like, like, cause like, when you're a kid, you know, you can't really say you have a bad relationship with your mom. But I, I will admit that I gave my mom, you know, some hard times. But uh, Islam helped me to uh, actually mature. It, it taught me, you know, the important things in life and what I need to worry about and what I don't need to worry about and what's just really basically ridiculous to worry about. And so now, you know, like, I, I base my life around the knowledge that, you know, I, of course I'm going to make mistakes in this life. So, inshallah, you know, I'm, I'll make as little mistakes as I can. But uh, I, I just, I'm just going to do my best and, and try and try and follow Islam as closely as I can and, and do what I can to make Allah happy with me so that Allah will remember me on Yom al Qiyamah. And uh, because you know, I, I I tell people the same thing. You know, if you if you forget God and or and you deny God, then God will deny you. You know. But uh. <laughs> well, uh, well, inshallah. Uh, let let me let me get a job first. <laughs> let me uh make sure I have an apartment or something. J- dang, I was uh. <laughs> but um. Insha- inshallah, uh, I'll be a- I'll be able to talk to you guys again in the future. But right now, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get off. I hope you guys had fun. All right, salam alaikum, everyone.